In this video, we're going to be creating a more advanced plaque using the relief clip art that's available within ArtCam. So if we open up the relief clip art library, and what I'm going to do is bring in, let's say this text rounded, which we have here. I'm going to center this and then I'm going to make this a lot larger. Let's bring that out to almost the edge like so. Now I'm just going to click off the transform tool and I'm going to just select the bloodhound clip art that I have there. Now when this is blue this means that it is floating so you can move this around. As soon as it turns to the yellow color that means that you've pasted the clip art down onto the model. So I'm going to use a fill tool now and I'm going to use the block copy rotate. And I'm going to rotate copy this. Let's do this let's say five objects and do 360 degrees. So this is going to create five copies going around the center. And I'm going to change the rotation center to be 00, zero which is the center of my model. And I'm going to click apply. And there you can see it's given me this pattern. So what I'm going to do is to press T on the keyboard to transform this. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so it fits onto the screen like so. Now let's zoom in on the center. Now you can get a real-time preview of this by just taking a look and maybe let's insert let's say the bloodhound front. Let's bring that in. Now you can see that this is quite large so let's take a plan view and make this smaller. Now I'm just going to select the text. Just make sure that that's in the center. And I'm going to just move this bloodhound front to where I think it should go. Let's say around about there. Now what I need to do is to make sure that I get the right heights for this. Now you can see that the, the bloodhound front is quite high at the moment. So what I'm going to do is select all of the text. I deselect the bloodhound front by just pressing shift on the keyboard and then left clicking on the bloodhound front. And I'm just going to press transform just to make sure that I get the right Z ranges for the text. So let's do that at 0.5. Select apply. And I'm going to paste that down. Let's select the bloodhound front. Transform that. Now you can see that this is 25 millimeters. So let's bring that down to let's say 1.5 and select apply. So there you can see that that's brought that down. Now you can see that some of the text is coming through the actual front of the bloodhound. So let's just bring up the height of that. Let's bring it up to about five millimeters. Now I'm not too worried about the height. I know that that's too high. I'm going to change that at the end. So when I'm happy with that, select paste. And you can see that that's paste over the top there like so. Now if I wanted to I could also place a texture behind the back of all of this. So let's say use this texture holes like so. Let's just make this larger than the whole uh, piece, the whole model. And let's give this a really low height range. So let's say 0.5 one and then make sure that I'm on merge high which is selected here 
select paste just so it gives me this rippled texture like so now when I'm happy with all of my design you can see that the height of this is probably a little bit too high probably need to knock that down so I can do the the overall height of the whole model by selecting the scale relief which is here and this will give me an overall scale height which is 4.896 so let's bring that to down to let's say 1.5 millimeters and select apply you can see that that's changed the whole of the plaque Okay, so that's just showing you how to do a more advanced piece by using the Relief Clip Art Library.